Hello everyone and welcome back to the fifth tutorial in this series of how to model a bedroom and this time I was thinking a lot of how we are going to uh, improve this uh, bedroom and I thought maybe we will add a desktop here at this corner of this room so at first um, again as um, the at the last part, the fourth part that we made this closet, um, I forgot to add this closet to a new layer. So let's choose this closet together with the handles. And if you by accident choose also the uh, the bedroom walls, so you can with Control uh, and select this to unselect it and then go over the layer editor and add a new layer from this uh, chosen so, uh, object and double click it and name it as, clo as close it okay give it some nice color yeah that's fine and let's uh, keep with this um, first of all turn off all these layers and create a new polygon okay a cube polygon and use the scale tool to scale it and bring it up above the grid and then right click on it and choose face shift select this face and this face okay so now we are going to extrude these faces so um, use the blue arrow to extrude it okay so that's ain't right undo that and undo again to uh, forget about the extrude function just we just added and go over edit mesh and uh, make sure you uncheck the keep faces together so click on it and then extrude it okay so now it they will be uh, separated parts and you can bring those two faces like this and then maybe take this face and no you don't have to extrude it just pull it over here with the move tool just undo the extrude and uh, use the move tool to take this face and move it to here um, okay uh, maybe a bit more and then take this face and pull it like so and now we are going to add uh, two subdivision edge loops so shift select shift and right click on no uh, just tap on the F8 to bring it back to object mode and shift hold down the shift and right click on this uh, desk and then add two lines one here and one here for like the frame of this uh, we are going to create uh, a place for uh, maybe a PC or something so I'm going to add another edge loop to here and then I will use the move tool to adjust it so it will be at the same size as this face okay all right so um, again tap on the F8 to bring it back to object mode and hold down the shift right click and again uh, select insert edge loop and now I want to add another edge loop like this one and uh, two more edge loops one here and no one above it like so all right and <coughs> then um, we can maybe add another edge loop over here and always make sure it's the same as 
here and here okay um, those lines are supposed to be the legs of our desktop so this is why I'm creating another edge loop over here and maybe we shall see what we are going to do here maybe it will be just an empty space or maybe some shelf over here um, I'm not sure yet um, alright so um, now um, we are going to choose face again if you don't want to head uh, by accident uh, more edge loops just choose this arrow over here and then you will get the faces um, choose this one and this one okay and then choose the extrude and extrude them like so not much maybe like this okay and then tap on the F8 and then we are going to um, choose right click this and choose this face and maybe 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 not uh, yeah maybe those faces and those faces and those faces okay so we want we actually want the inner parts of those and that's going to I'm going to bring this and this and those faces inside so uh, use the extrude tool and move the uh, blue arrow uh, inside drag it inside uh, you can uh, use the x-ray to see how much uh, you bring it inside and also make sure it's at the same thickness of uh, these legs so uh, try to match the size of those and shading x-ray off and then we are going to right click on that and choose these faces and shift select those faces and then I want to keep those faces here so just uh, lower ones shift select those and tap on the delete key okay so now we won't have any other lines that we don't need um, another thing is that we have something wrong over here so what we are going to do is uh, we probably want to delete those uh, faces also just those okay sorry I have a Skype call and I want to delete these faces also this face and we kinda ruin this uh, shape so we need to fix it so in order to do that we are going to choose this edge over here and then um, maybe this edge and we are going to use the move tool to no let's uncheck unselect this and and maybe we will move this like so okay and then we will choose those edges okay uh, make sure you didn't select anything else uh, it's very tricky but you will get it okay so now we have to attach those um, edges together so the all uh, the old desktop will be one piece uh, so we are going to use um, merge interactive uh, no merge vertex tool okay vertex tool merge vertex tool so select it and then uh, you will get this plus sign over uh, your mo mouse course so um, if I will get closer like this you can see that um, those um, vertices are marked in red so if I choose if I click on this vertices 
vertex point and will uh, hold down the mouse, the left mouse button that I just select this and will drag it to this point so when I release those the button uh, it will merge them together um, but you really need to be careful with this because you can attach two other vertices point uh, so you need to be very close to the vertices you want to attach together and also I think that this line is um, at the right place that it should be and I want to trust this line so I'm picking first this line so this vertex will come to this vertex and not the opposite direction so this is why I'm choosing these vertices and then again cho choosing this vertex and then this one so now if we will uh, go uh, behind this desktop you can see that no harm has done and it's quite okay but um, you can also check this by uh, using the x-ray to see if you are uh, okay okay so that's fine that's okay and let's turn off the x-ray so now we have something that looks like a desktop uh, we can add some more uh, things to it um, if you like uh, let's start by make maybe make a little draw over here so it will look better um, first of all we will uh, catch this face okay sorry I'm still using the vertex, vertex uh, merge tool so choose this face you know what maybe not this face maybe uh, let's think about it uh, okay okay so you know what um, leave it for now we will do something we will do it like in this way uh, shift hold down the shift button and right click on this desk and choose insert edge loop we will add two more edge loops here and here okay like this and then we will choose faces choose the arrow so you will get rid of this uh, edge loop and now I want to first choose this face and this face and this face and <coughs> maybe delete them yeah delete those faces and then i want you to choose this edge and this edge and then go over edit mesh no sorry mesh and choose fill hole so it's kind of no that's wrong undo that um let's choose this edge okay here and this edge and then we will extrude them and we'll do something like this okay uh, don't attach attached it or, or uh, already um, we will use the merge vertex tool so choose merge vertex tool and attach those points to where they need to be belong to and then we will move inside this draw and we will attach this and we have another one so yeah this one and this one and that way it's okay um, now for uh, we have to fill this uh, empty space so choose um, those two edges this and shift select this go over mesh and choose fill all so it will uh, complete this uh, area here that was uh, a hole inside okay and now uh, it really depends on you if you like you can take this face here and extrude it 
very a bit to the sides and from the upper to the lower part I will get close so you can see what I'm doing okay that way it's okay and that will be our draw we just need to extrude it again and use the uh, blue arrow to bring it outside and then extrude it again uh, as always uh, this is the way we are going to create handle so we are creating a new handle and extrude it again bring it outside a bit and that's kind of okay tap on F8 right click on this desk choose this edge and then choose this edge and bevel it okay edit mesh bevel and go to the attribute of this bevel and add more segments can also add more offset to it so it will look like this and then we will do the same for the endos so choose this edge and this edge and edit mesh bevel and add more segments and that looks pretty much okay for a desktop um, in this case you can maybe um, adjust the size of it um, just by right clicking it and choose vertices and then catch all those vertices that are here you can see that there are not much not any much of uh, vertices in this area so we will catch all those and they will react as one unit so you can make it shorter if you like if it's too much um, I think that's more than enough for a desktop and if you really like to make it uh, something particular you can add another shelves to it or whatever um, I'm going to stay with this uh, but okay so now let's just feed it to our scene I will turn on this layers we have okay and as you can see it's already overlapping with the bed so I will bring it to here I'm not sure that this is the correct position so I will bring in the walls okay and we'll move it so it will attach the walls you can use the x-ray if you like it's very helpful in those cases and also want to make it I want this empty area over here to be shown so um, that looks great okay so that was the fifth tutorial on how to create uh, a bedroom we just did this desktop and you can uh, create a new layer for it so let's create a layer call it desktop okay and give it some nice color and save it okay and always don't forget to save your scene so I'm saving it and we will meet again and at the sixth tutorial okay have a nice day and goodbye